Rest in peace, Apple Leather MagSafe Wallet. Long live fine woven wallet. So the question is, are these fine woven MagSafe wallets any good? How do they compare against the other 30 MagSafe wallets I've been testing? Stick around, you're gonna wanna see these results. First things first, what's the deal with fine woven fabric? Well, it's made from durable micro twill and it's supposed to feel like suede. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't feel like suede, it feels like cloth. It feels soft, but not as soft as suede, and it has a nice texture to it makes a funny noise. Now in terms of size compared to the old leather wallets, they're almost identical. In terms of weight, well, the new one's a couple grams heavier. From a wear and tear perspective, you can kind of see the scratches on it already. This new wallet isn't gonna look as good as the Apple leather wallet after a bit of usage. For example, look how nice this edge is right now. Now look at it. Yikes. Even like fingernails are gonna be terrible against the fine woven wallet. In terms of card capacity, it's still gonna hold three cards easily. Find My is still baked into it. A MagSafe wallet with Find My is just awesome. Just don't get this one. And it has the same MagSafe rings from the previous versions. But when we do a deeper dive, it's not. You're gonna have a hard time keeping these things on your iPhones. On a normal iPhone with the old leather wallet, it took on average 6.4 newtons to push it off. With this fine woven wallet, it took an average of about 5.6 newtons to push off. Those are not good numbers considering that the average for all the MagSafe wallets I've tested is 10 newtons. I will say that the connection of these products will depend on the products that you're connecting to. If you're using this fine woven wallet with Apple's own clear case, don't because it'll come off incredibly easily. My force meter only registers values above five newtons. It does not register this combo. With the silicone case, it's a little more palatable, palpable. I don't know, I think I'm using that word wrong, but it's eight newtons, so it's a little better. But the best thing to do is to pair it with another fine woven case. Not this one, because I've tore it up. If you want to see what the inside looks like, check out that video. But this connection here is about 12, 13 newtons. So like you put these two things together and it's going to be awesome. This wallet's not going to come off accidentally. But here's a secret. The fine woven case isn't good. The final kicker for this product is that it's 60 US dollars, $80 Canadian. That is a lot of money for the performance that you get. I'm not a big fan of Apple Tax and usually their accessories aren't terrible, but this fine woven product is not an equivalent product to the old leather cases or the old leather MagSafe wallets. All right, moment of truth. Where does this rank out of the 33 wallets I've tested now? It's number 30. It's so bad and so expensive. Again, the only time I would get this product is if I was going to fine woven case and I'm never gonna touch this case ever again for the iPhone 15s. That's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. First time watching my videos, hit the subscribe button. I got a ton of top 10, top five videos coming in the next uh, couple months. So do stick around to check out what I think are actually the best MagSafe accessories.